So last night, um, the, the, the Basque national team won uh, 6-0 against Peru. It was very much an exhibition match, really. Peru, uh, it's a lot of young players, largely Peru-based, um, and they didn't really put up much of a fight. They went behind after like five minutes, and then in the second half, they were 3-0 down, and they uh, conceded right after half-time, which is a coach. <laughs> You've got to hate that. Um, so uh, just we're doing the reaction here. So we've got, this is the, ba the Basque newspaper, uh, uh, Corriero. And um, we've got a good shot of Takero here, who's, who's a kind of cult figure. The fans, when Takero came on, they were chanting for him to come on when he was warming up and then singing Takero for president <laughs> and various other things. But you can see him here being fouled in a kind of, a, so it's a, a good shot there from the cameraman, I think. For, on Friday, which is when we arrived uh, on the 27th, um, this, is, this is Ass. This was a kind of negative uh, Spanish story about the security being a problem at last year's uh, uh, Euskal Selección match. Um, and you can see the flares being thrown into the pitch here. So this is a kind of negative story here on the Friday saying, you know, security needs to be tightened up. The security needs to be tightened up. And these are, of course, the sports papers. As and Marca are the two, big, the two biggest selling newspapers in Spain. One is Pro Madrid, one is Pro Barcelona. So you get 10 pages a day of, of Barcelona and uh, Madrid. Um, so look, again, look, we've filled up with Madrid here. Um, powdered sugar all over me as well, now making a mess. So again, you can see uh, As and Marca are far more interested in Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> than anybody else, as usual. And Xavi Alonso, who of course didn't play due to, a, I think he had a, a perforated eardrum, that's his excuse anyway, because he was whistled roundly last year by the entire stadium and didn't fancy coming back. Uh, some of the fans didn't really understand perhaps the irony of him saying they had a perforated eardrum because he'd been whistled for the entire 90 minutes of the previous match last year. So this is a Mundo Deportivo, this is more of a kind of tabloid, uh, tabloid version of the Asen marker. And this headline means uh, run over. So uh, the Bass national team here have run over Peru 6-0. Um, you can see the kind of celebrations. I like that the, the armband of the captain is a Icarino on there. It's a nice little image. Uh, basically, the, the vibe of a lot of this is, uh, is the kind of, judging by that previous story about the problems with security, there's, there's a very positive mission accomplished down here. We want to be official. Um, the, the Bass national team wants to be a, a, an official team. Um, which is, I suppose, a little bit incendiary, but I think they made their point. So yeah, so it's, it's interesting that, that Marco really has almost no interest in covering the story, and yet we got a double page. So it's quite a fair analysis here. They're talking about the political point, and they're referencing the players. They're not really giving an editorial opinion there. So interesting in the coverage in the Spanish newspapers of the, uh, the Basque national team match.